Here we are on the Ohio River. This used to be a, a town. This is Bel Air. It used to be a city, but now the people are moving away so fast that this town of Bel Air is now a village. This is one of the few factories left. This town had many, many glass factories and all factories all up and down the river, but they've all been tore down. Here's the barges. We're looking at the Ohio River. Here's a barge. This is kind of funny. This barge has covers on it. I'm not familiar with these type of covers. When Many, many years ago, the coal barges, they just put the coal in there, and you could see the coal. They didn't have any covers. So I'm not sure if this is an Obama regulation. And you can see why this is what was such a perfect location for the factories in the 1800s, early 1900s, because you had the river there, put the stuff could be transferred on the barges. You had the railroad tracks here. Perfect location. But like I said, everybody's moving away from these towns because of the politicians just sucked it dry and there's no jobs. And This is one of the last factories standing. And the sad part is the politicians, they don't even know, they don't even admit, they don't even realize that all their regulations sucked the town dry. Now here's interesting. Obama at one time okayed fracking water to be transferred on the barges. This was a couple years ago. And then the Coast Guard decided, no, we're not going to let the fracking water be transferred on the barges. This is really interesting because maybe the fracking water is in these barges and the covers are hiding the fracking water. I don't know. And I'll tell you why I'm kind of suspicious. You see, these containers, a lot of people don't know that, but these containers can contain the water, the fracking water. They all, they, not only do they, do they contain the... Uh, the 750 different chemicals mixed in with the fracking water that they use to frack the well, but they also use the wastewater, the radioactive wastewater that comes out of the well, is carried in these containers. And these are sitting right on the river bank, right beside the river. The barge is right there. So I'm thinking, this is what gets my suspicion. The barges have a cover on them, so you cannot see the coal in there. There may or may not be coal in the barge. And, of course, the Coast Guard says no. The Coast Guard just recently said no fracking water to be shipped by the barges. But here we have these tanks right by the river. The barge is there. So you see, I'm suspicious, and I'm just making a video of it. I don't really know for sure, but, you know, I'm just saying, just saying. As a kid, growing up on the Ohio River, of course, we played on these tracks. We played by the uh, factories. There was a bunch of these factories as a kid. We, I grew up right by these factories. They were, they were closed down back then. Of course, we get on the railroad tracks. We would come down by the river. They have buckeye trees all along the Ohio River. They have buckeye trees. This is one of the last things remaining. This is one of the last things remaining here of the river from the old days, you know, the old pipe here, the old factory. Not much stand, not much is left from the old days. One interesting tidbit about this town here, Bel Air, on the river, is they did film uh, Silence of the Lambs here. That was a great movie, Silence of the Lambs, filmed right here in this village. This is the Ohio River. Those are the old bridges going across to West Virginia. That's what you're looking across West Virginia. This side is the uh, Eastern Ohio area. This is the town of Bel Air, Ohio. We're in the town of Bel Air, Ohio. There's the barges on the Ohio River. West Virginia across the river. And behind me is an old factory. This used to be a, a glass factory. Bel Air was famous for the glass factory. They had the Imperial Glass here. They made a lot of glass in Bel Air. Again, we're in the Ohio River. The Ohio side, West Virginia side. The bridges will be coming down pretty soon. And I'm pretty sure these factories will be coming down pretty soon. Yes, another sad part of regulations and taxes that the people who own these buildings, it's cheaper for them to rip the factories down because they don't have to pay as much taxes Whereas if the politicians and the globalists, if these people had a brain, they wouldn't have, you wouldn't have taxes on this. I mean, you've got historic buildings. You've got to 
give people incentives to keep these historic buildings there. So, but they just keep on giving these taxes and taxes and regulations. You got to do this and you got to do that. Before you know it, the owner says, "Shit, I'll just rip it down. It'll be cheaper." And what happens? All the old factories are gone. Imperial Glass Factory gone. Now, the good thing in some cities like New York and other, they saved the factories and they turned them into fancy apartments, lofts, and condos. That was the right thing to do. But along the Ohio River, sadly, most of all the old factories are gone because people, the owners, it was cheaper for them to tear it down than to pay the politicians taxes. And then what happens? You turn into a village. You don't even have 3,000 people, and now you're a village instead of a city.